All right, probably going to put a clickbait thumbnail on this just because there's a lot of people all angry for some reason. Um, yeah, we're going to do micros in iRacing. And this just confirmed my feelings about the World of Outlaw game. Something's broken on the micros in that game uh, because this car does not just hard turn left like it does in World of Outlaws in iRacing. So I don't know if they got the physics wrong or if a different guy did uh, physics differently, but yeah, something something funky is up with that, I think. Um, but we're here to get our butts kicked by a bunch of little kids because I am not that quick. And we'll uh, see what we can do. But I figured if I put a nice little clickbait thumbnail on today with the release of the World of Outlaw game, that'll give me a few more clicks. And I, people are s like freaking out over what I said. And what I said was, if you don't own the previous game, go buy this game. Not iRacing, go buy World of Outlaws 24. But if you own the previous game, you've, you've already got this game, minus the uh, two new tracks and two new cars, such as the Micro. Um, because, man, that was just a copy and paste. And it's disappointing, because I thought we were going to see some passion and some effort in the game after the uh, first one, because it felt like, hey, let's try to recreate the old Rat Bag games, let's try to bring something to the table, and then to essentially get a DLC, um, that, was, that was just disappointing to me, but 22's game was great. And since nothing changed, this game's great for the World of Outlaw 24. But uh, people don't like hearing that it's the exact same game. I mean, when I can sit there and show like, every menu and thing is the same, when the handling's the same, when the graphics are the same, and we've been told that there was a graphics update. The graphics update was just to make it run slightly smoother. And, um, man, people are very upset about it because they don't want to be shown anything that goes against what they want to believe. And as long as you don't, if you plug your ears and scream, um, then it's all good, and you can keep believing whatever you want to believe, even though side-by-side side side comparisons show it's the same game. But they instantly think I'm saying it's not a good game, or that it's not as good as iRacing, and I want it to be iRacing. I don't want it to be iRacing. I already have iRacing. Why would I want iRacing on console? That makes zero sense. Um... I want a good couch racer, but I already played that game two years ago, and unfortunately the career mode depth is lacking massively, so there's no need for me to play it again, like, there's, there's just no need for it, so, I don't know, people are just upset, it's, I'm gonna assume that all of them that uh, are throwing out, oh, you just want it to be iRacing, or oh, it's not supposed to be a sim. I assume they've all never tried iRacing or even watched my iRacing videos because pretty sure I rag on iRacing for all their little issues just the same because we're all spending money. We should all want the best value out of our money and for things to get fixed. I mean, 
we still got this stupid dry line around the top of the track that I reported uh, many years ago when the dirt refresh came out. Uh, so, I I don't know. People, people in comment sections, for some reason, they feel the need to... Like, they have to comment. They can't just... You'll Yo, be up okay, I don't inside. agree with this guy. Close, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say anything and just not watch the video. So it's really easy to take that and turn it into clicks and engagements. Um, I don't feel like I said anything bad about Monster. I support iRacing. I support Monster. Uh, I didn't tell anyone to not buy the game. All I said was it was the same but people don't want to admit it. And so instead they have to, like, I'm starting to get personal attacks now. And, uh, yeah, it's just, it's hilarious what people on the internet will freak out about. Like, man, if you don't agree with me, shut the video off. But the minute you start putting comments, um... That's more engagement, so YouTube thinks, oh, well, more people need to see this, because they don't know if it's a good comment or a bad comment. But, uh, let's get to racing here, and be glad that we can drive this thing straight without having to turn all the way to the right. And then hopefully we can have a nice green run. Well, we're going to have a green run, but hopefully we can have a nice clean run, and I fuck up in the center of the corner. Thankfully, the guy behind us drives straight up into the wall. Everyone dies behind, and now it's going to be a boring race. It's a two-car race. So, yeah, um, what sucks about iRacing? Well... We have all these rookie series that toss in free races, so it's kind of survived the first lap, and then uh, nothing matters. The, the the way dirt works is it doesn't lend itself to being realistic in a lot of different situations. You can't get those extremely just, it's 95 degrees all week long and it hasn't rained in a month type tracks. Uh, you can't get tracks that have so much moisture in them that they just never go away. You're always stuck with the same format of the track starts off prepped it gets used up, and then it goes dry slick. And, um, yeah, that's been one of my little annoyances. The other annoyance is, we need ruts. Um, we need some variable that makes... No one should be able to know the perfect line of a dirt track every time you go to it. You should have a general idea of what the line is going to be, but it should be changing up so much that that perfect perfection should never be able to be achieved on dirt, essentially. But, unfortunately, this is the best that we have. Um, the good news is, it sounds like I did make contact with a, another uh, company, or I, I think he might just be a single developer, and it's obviously not going to be level of iRacing, not trying to be, but um, I might get to try out a uh, other dirt game that is coming out a little bit ahead of time and give you guys a first look and thoughts on it, so uh, we'll see how that this one car is. Thought we were catching him, thought we were catching up with him, but he's just so much smoother than I am. Like, 
he's just perfect through the corner and exit. Not a wiggle. But that's why he's rated higher than me. Let's see if we can get past this chicken streaker. He lifts off, thank you. I was a little worried with the wall hit. But, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I've also introduced him, or at least told him about a couple other YouTubers that are into dirt racing, because it's best for companies and games that are trying to get their name out there to not just get some angry old guy's view. Uh, but also get a couple other views just because um, other people have different audiences than me. And I'm not expecting the world out of the game. I'm expecting the way that it happens is single developers are able to do what they want to do and not have to put up with or change to someone else's ideas, and sometimes some really neat things can come out of that. Um, but we'll see where it's going to go, what what it is, and um, hopefully I do get that opportunity, because I want to bring more attention to dirt racing sims and games, and... Uh, I fortunately have a platform to do so. So, I'm looking forward to that. We get second. We didn't have to race anyone. We probably would have got third or fourth if they had an old wreck behind us. That guy's going to go finish a lap ahead of everyone. Because his race ain't over, apparently. But let's go take a look at uh, what happened out there. Oh, I didn't even have any of the relatives up. Wow. So, uh, doing my job well. So, what happened? Well, <laughs> two, <coughs> two different wrecks. We have this uh, six car just pushing like crazy, hitting the wall, wiping out two people, and then doing a hell of a backflip up front ahead of them the seven car oh, I rewound too much seven car gets hooked by the four after he drills the wall four keeps going but is he broken I don't know so and that's how that happened. Three cars broken, trying to get to pit road. There's a tire in the way. And that's it. All that happened was that first wreck. So, um, no. Uh, World of Outlaws 24 and iRacing are two completely separate things. They shouldn't be compared. Uh, I'm never comparing them. But I'm going to... Use a little clickbait to make these nut jobs all angry and give me more money from engagements. So, hope you enjoyed the race and my little rant. Nice quick one. Let's take a look at the results. Just real quick, see what we got. 36 I rating, 2 safety rating. Not fastest. One car just destroyed us. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.